Greetings programs! Welcome back to Minecraft and there's been a bit of progress. I've been busy you guys. You'll notice there's uh, there's some saplings missing. What could that mean? Well, well, if you will just come with me you will see I've been a busy little bee because I have made a tree chamber. Now one of the challenges is to make a uh, a, a glass dome basically to grow trees in but I've I've decided to uh, start off with I've dug out this hole and I actually found a bit of coal and iron in the, in the process this was a pocket of coal in here and and I've decided I'm I'm gonna start off doing it that way because that then gives me access to trees without having to repeatedly drown myself so let's get an axe and chop this bad boy down you know, see I've also made myself a little uh, infinite water pool there I had hoped I'd be able to fish in this, but it seems like I can't. So I'm oh, random sapling. Going to have to uh, starve to death apparently. Uh, I'm going to have to. Um, I think for my next thing, my next project, I will be building a kind of a. I guess you would call it a moon pool, which sort of lets the ocean in, and it's going to have to start off with being made of stone and I'm going to re gradually replace bits of it with glass because uh, how about I fall on this from the top that'll be easier um, because at, at the moment I there isn't any sand close by and that's a bit tricky so uh, this is a nice big tree and I'm hopefully going to get some nice um, I've already I've already harvested a couple of small trees, but I wanted to wait till there's a nice big one to show you guys. Oh. And I've got I've got th uh, two of the three um, types. I haven't had any birch grow yet, and I haven't had any. Uh... Oh, an apple that's useful. I'll save that. I won't eat that now. There's no point because I'm so uh, low on health. So so far it's just oak trees that have grown, but I will hopefully have some different kinds of wood to play with as well. And there is a jungle tree, but I'm going to need a big-ass stone before I can... Oh! Ouch. Yeah, well done. <laughs> That's what happens when you're very low health. So, the next thing is, um, yeah, build some kind of uh, dome where I can create a moon pool and then catch fish, because at the moment food is now the problem, and I haven't been given any seeds so the issue is how do I get food and my only real option at the moment is fishing because harvesting oak trees for apples is uh, pretty inefficient you're not going to get enough apples from doing that to actually sustain yourself not from the amount of space I've got available anyway now the good um, thing about having dug out this relatively large chamber well not that large but it's relatively deep is I've now got plenty of stone to work with, so plenty of building materials. So I will see if I can't nab a few more saplings, which are going to be useful. And if nothing else, I can always use them. Oh, there we go, as a fuel source. So let's just knock down the rest of these leaves. I'm going to have to take another fall here. I could always just jump in the water, actually. That's what I put it there for. Whoa! Or I could do that. Um, total professional, you guys. I'm a total professional. So there we go. I've got nine saplings out of that. That was a nice big tree. We can go away and wait for that to grow again. So I'll grab some wood. Not wood. I've got wood. I mean, grab some stone because I've got loads of stone. As you can see, like I said, I've got a tiny bit of iron there, so um, that's going to be useful for something. I haven't decided what yet. I'm going to obviously need iron tools at some point, but not just now, because it's mostly dirt and stone, so I'm going to stick with stone tools. And now that wood isn't a bottleneck, you know, it's not growing especially quickly, but it's growing and that isn't going to be really an issue anymore. So there's my, my precious jungle sapling. Don't want to lose that. So the plan is I'm going to extend this out, um, I think, just in front, basically. And it's going to have to be stone to begin with because I don't really have anything else. Actually, what I will do 
just so I can still go outside and have a swim if need be, is construct another door so I can have a kind of airlock. And that means I can get outside and um, actually... Why did I take... I took too much wood there. doesn't matter. I can actually then... Um, oh, I know it would be useful to have. Some dirt blocks. Underwater construction is a bit of a son of a bitch, but that's the name of the game. That's what the whole challenge is about. So I, I have, uh, you know, no one forced me to pick this map. So I can just go blah, blah, blah. Uh, hey, presto, it's still there. Oh, well, of course it is still there. It's still flowing in from the outside. So. Oh. Take a breather. Let's see, now I've created it as flow blocks. It's actually whoop, pushing me back, unfortunately. But the principle is, I can now block this off with oh, dirt. And hey presto, more room. Of course, the downside is, it's very pen sticking, as you can see. So, I'm going to have to... Um, slowly work my way forward, and what I can actually do is use the door as I can emplace that as like an airlock as I'm going. In fact, I could make another door, and then I'm not having to go constantly back and forth. And then that means I can remove the iron door and do something else with it at some point. But for the time being, we'll just make another wooden door. And I can get an airlock system going, and then I can just keep scooting forward. Now, this is fine when you're building a little. Um, I'm going to build a, a, a short corridor, and then I'm going to have to... I don't quite know how I'm going to do it, actually. I've never done this kind of underwater construction before. I've done construction where I've um, had... Uh, shall I keep it all on the level? Yeah, might as well. I've done construction where I've had um, something. I've been building under a, you know, in a lake, but I've never actually built this far underwater, so this is going to be a, something of a challenge, so we will right, and I'll put dirt on this side because I will have that be my sort of airlock out to the side so take another breather so we've got a bit of stone up there, that's fine I will replace some of this with glass when I have glass to replace it with, but for the moment it's all just going to be stone because there's a whole bunch of sand over there, and once I've figured out a way of getting to it, I could dig, like, underneath, but then mining sand underneath, yeah, you, you can guess how that would go. So I'm going to have to somehow, I'm going to have to build in that direction and have to actually create a, a dry space where I can actually mine all that sand and then make some glass. So that might be a while off before I'm actually building domes, but we'll we'll see how it goes. I don't know how this is going to go exactly, so let's build some more. So that's all those blocks of dirt are where I'm going to be uh, actually so I can put a door there, and that was me moved up some. And there we go. I just need to clear this space here. This door does not want to come off. Right, uh, axe. Where's my axe gone? <laughs> I can do a here's Johnny moment. Here's Jedi! Yeah. I, I don't think my crazy face is as good as Jack Nicholson's crazy face, but I could give it a go. So we're there, we've, we've, we've already extended slightly, um, I think we'll go forwards once more and then I will start building a base, so, and I think what I'll do is I'll have the corridor be on the same level and then the rest of it will be, will drop down once, so let's put that door there, and take that one off. So there we go, it's a bit slow, but it, it's uh, the uh, the name of the game. Right, so we'll have... Um, 
it'll basically be uh, oh, I want pickaxe, don't I? It'll be um, oh, well done. And now I can't. <laughs> for goodness sake. Oh, please bear with me where I well, while I have technical difficulties of me being an idiot, which is not in the technical difficulty I have. So we want a pickaxe. I'm probably going to need another one of those soon, actually. Um, I was tempted to make an iron pickaxe, but that is a bit more wasteful at this stage. Actually, let's have... Uh, so organised to me. Let's have some torches as well. So I can actually... Oh, have a bit of illumination. So let's get rid of that. So, that will be some stairs going down there. And what we'll be doing is... Um, I think we'll build the chamber, this this moon pool, off towards this side. And I've got a kind of rough idea of oh, how big I want it to be. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, um, do I want that bit there, actually? I don't think so. This is the part where it starts to get, I think, even slow, because you're just having to go back and forth inside all the time to take a breath. So, let's build out... Let's see, that's one, two, three, four... That's what, six, something like that, that way. And I don't really need to build a base out that way, because there's already stuff there. We'll, we'll put it out one more, so for good luck. Oh, better take a breath. That was a bit close. So, it's going to be this, basically. Let's build a nice stone floor here. I'll probably excavate some of this for the, the actual pool area. So I can I can have a nice bracing um, uh, undersea uh, um, swim, if I, if I really want to, as well as catching fish. But mostly I want to catch fish. That's the practical reason for doing this. Oh, get in. There we go. I will, actually, I could put the stairs there right away. That will make it easier than flobbling along the bottom. Flobbling! That, that, that's a real word. I, I didn't just... Yeah. So I can go... Da, 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 da. Yeah, apparently I can survive under these, these crushing depths, but hey, it's it's... The demo man, you know, he, he's tough as nails. And I think he's probably permanently inebriated as well, so that, I expect, helps. Take another gasp of air. At least if I die, I'm going to drown. I'm going to, you know, it'll be right out my front door, so it's not going to be that far away. So, um... Another couple of rows... And that will do. Now I've looked at the various challenges. I think the challenges I will probably do first. Um, I think there must be... I'm going to have to dig around because I think there must be an aman abandoned... Abandoned? An abandoned mine shaft somewhere in the vicinity. Because that's one of the challenges. Fi find an abandoned mine shaft. There's also find a, a fortress... So these things must be around somewhere. So if I do some digging while I'm off video, as it were, while I'm not recording, that will hopefully give me access to chests so I can get things like melons and seeds. And that's obviously going to be necessary for doing things like building a farm under a dome. The tree farm I can pretty much do right away, but it's obviously going to take a while because it needs to be a relatively tall structure. Or I could cheat. I could just have a bit of glass on the surface and uh, actually oh I kind of screwed that up, I'm sorry I could um, have the rest of it just be underground basically so I think maybe two more rows and then we'll start building up and actually containing this space and then I, it, it, I well we'll see where that takes it up takes me up to I'll probably do what I did last time, finish this video at about the 25 minute mark 
Um, I'm going to die fairly soon, so let's stick some of this stuff that we don't need in the chest, just so there's less chance of things drifting away. So upstairs I can put back. I uh, don't need all of this stone, that's for sure. Probably got enough on me. Well, this is when it gets tricky, because the further away you get in, the quicker you're running out of breath. <laughs> 